Hello everyone, so we stranded upon this island, and our captain, Ponce de Leon, drew a map to the location of where he lost his spyglass, which is an item we're gonna have to get right now. And this is the map, which actually uh, isn't as bad as it may look, because I think we're like right up here, which means if we just go completely east, we should just find it. There's also a little hint here that says that the spyglass remained in the place where the fireflies are visible at night. So I guess let's go. We should have a good amount of stuff on us. So I'd say let's just go. Also, if we see any more trees like that, the very tall ones, we should definitely check those out. I can see one over there. That might be good. Because by climbing these trees, we get a high vantage point and we can fill out more of the map. There's some nettles over here. We can only cut those down. We don't seem to get any resources from them, so I don't see the use for it. These nettles also look a little more red than I expected them to. But what is this? Right, I forgot there was supposed to be like an ancient civilization on this island. Must be, uh, from one of them. Who does more stuff over here? Okay, well, there's more stuff over here. Or is this just rock? Uh, I think I start seeing things, it's just a rock. Alright, I kind of want to go towards that tree, because I want to have that vantage point. Where the hell did the tree go? There's too many trees, man, I can't see it. I think it might just be this way. Because there's one that's slightly taller. Is it this one? Ah, fuck, there's a scorpion on me. Get off me. It is not this tree. I got stung by a scorpion for nothing. Also, are we, like, poisoned or anything? No? I think that uh, scorpion didn't do much to us, which is good. There's actually a fence here. Ouch. You know, I was looking at those and I was like, these look like they would fucking sting. And I guess they do. Because when you get to the point in survival games where you can kind of walk through everything... You really start to forget that some work on their own little ways. Like, for example, I was playing one the other day that had uh, fire damage. So I put a campfire next to my wooden house and it started burning. God, what the fuck, man? I'm not sure if I'm just not throwing right or... You know what? There we go. Did it break? Oh, that's not good. Nah, it's not good. I and mean, there's so many crabs around here, damn. Okay, I think we're good, I think we're good. What is this, though? Why is this here? Start fishing. I don't think we can, because I don't think we have a fishing rod, but I guess I'll try. Yeah, we need a rod and bait. Okay. Interesting that we can only fish at these spots then. Or presumably, anyway. So, annoyingly, it does not show any islands that are off to the side. But I guess we can use our own map. To see that we have walked north quite a bit somehow, it means we should be able to go that way. Yeah, that's definitely one of those... I forgot the name of them. Cartography trees is what they called them, I'm pretty sure. Should have probably brought a couple healing items. I was actually thinking about that as well, and then I just didn't do it. Yeah, there we go, place ladder. Requires item rope. We needed actual items? I didn't know about that. Watch me not being able to make the rope. No, we don't. Alright, that's probably why we needed to find the rope in the first place. God damn it. I will admit, this map is pretty dang large. There's some fireflies over there, though. At least I think they're fireflies. Either that or my graphics card is bugging out. But this is not on a beach, so it shouldn't be fireflies we are looking for. But can I mark stuff on the map, I wonder? Place a marker. Yeah, so let's place an axe. Which means that we need to go here. There's a snake. There is some sort of building here. I want to just check it out. Water storage. You know what? Clean water? I'll take it. Hold up a second, this must be maybe this water pond, or this one, that's on the map. Are we above or below our original campsite? We are far above, okay. So now that we have a reference point of where we are, if we go southeast, we should be able to make it. I actually see a lot more of these random structures around. What the hell is up there? You guys see that? Not anymore, because there's a rock in the way, but there's also something shiny over there. Definitely something to worth checking out. There's also another cartographer tree over there. I don't really know the distance on the maps yet. So that's just going to be a problem. Because otherwise I would have just marked it on our map. But we're too far away from it. Alright, well it's probably turning daytime. Which means we're losing the visibility of the fireflies. But he kind of lost it a little inwards. Or land inwards. It might just be on top of there really. But he said beach, so... I'm going to believe his description skills, or his drawing skills, I guess. But yeah, it would really seem like it would be over there, wouldn't it? 
That would make a lot of sense to use the spyglass up there. I will admit, this island is bloody huge. I probably cut out quite a lot of this already. But we've been walking for a good while. Ooh, I see fireflies over there. I see light anyway. You know, that's a really good tell, actually, using the fireflies. Oh, there it is. They're, like, exactly on top of it as well. Hell yeah, get to the mountain? Spikles will help you look around the island of hope. There has to be a passage up onto the mountains somehow. The natives were able to reach very high points there. Is he talking about that point I see over there that I wanted to check out anyway? How do I use the spyglass? Okay, so basically what it does, it increases the visibility when on top of those cartographer trees by the looks of it. So I want to get on top of this because I want to check it out anyway because there is something on top here. What's up over here? Wall carving, but in inventory, I guess. Oh boy. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be close to uh, bird nest, eh? Ooh, there's actually stuff inside. There's also snakes about, but... Get out of here, snake. I don't want to harvest you right now. I don't know what you're for. There's a wall carving here. Another wall carving. Oh, okay. So we're we're supposed to find all the wall carvings. That native piece of the map. You've learned a new way to open the next region. Open the map and open the region for details. We need to either five native map pieces, learn blueprint for a better ship, or do it the Spanish way, which is get clues from surviving crew members. Okay. City and shards, some feathers. We can actually make a rope now. Right, it's nighttime, so we're gonna have trouble of our trying to fix that up. I'm gonna actually mark this part on the map as well. There we go. It seems to be daytime. 1% chance of injuring ourselves. I mean, if we were going to, that's gonna be bad. Alright, start mapping this place out. Takes three hours, our range pretty high, our altitude's pretty high. Okay, good. Let's do it. Okay, so whatever we marked on the map here. Uh, we don't have to mark it specifically, because it has an interesting site on the map now. Ooh, there's also something over here. We're gonna need to find quite a lot of these trees if we we're gonna map out this entire map. Right, well, let's say, let's go check out if we can go... I think it's up there, you see the little... It looks like a wolf or tiger, maybe? Maybe just getting ourselves into the mountain? That definitely does not look like regular mountain, I will admit. Oh shit, I missed. I missed! I missed again! Oh my goodness, I missed it three times already. And now I think I also lost my spear. I don't think he can get me up here. This could just be a huge... Oh, he's actually coming closer. Like, grab that and run. You can have the squirrel thing, man. Oh, that tiny drop dealt one damage. We're so close to death. We're definitely gonna die up here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna die up here. Yeah, we can't even enter it. Okay. Let's start mapping this with uh, the star as well. Smartest thing right now, though, would for us to just go home, cut our losses. Now, this is probably not the best way to go, but I don't want to go near that bird. Just one misstep and we're doomed. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. I feel like we're just going up the mountain, actually, instead of down it here. Oh, speck off. I don't see a... I do see a bird. Alright. I guess we just have to run past and hope. Oh my goodness. Really? It's gonna block our path like this? <laughs> oh man. Okay. At least, I suppose we are back. I suppose the good thing, right, is I don't think we have many, like, useful items on us and we keep all the special resources and we also keep the things that we have in our hand which are the like two important ones plus what we have on our body which was the backpack and as well as uh, the coat here which is pretty good the only negative i guess that we died is we basically lost a bit of our health or max hp we just need a bit of water we need a bit of food going and we should just be back up to normal tobacco plants. I'll take these because I'm pretty sure tobacco has some sort of heating property. Back, you've been attacked by pests. Get off. Just kick it off sooner, man. Jesus. Ooh, some sage. 
And sure, I'll check out what they do. So let's see, because some of these herbs do something like... This treats a type of burn, so that's good. And then Crush Sage is good against fevers. Actually, I saw some Hippicas as well. May as well pick that up, because just by picking them up, we've learned these recipes. And now we can kind of see what they're good for. Here's the Hippicus. Let's get fucking all of them, I guess, because I accidentally pressed F. And this creates a medicine for the flu. Pretty nice. So this rock right here looks kind of interesting. That's not a rock, that's a head. We really need, like, a big source of water now. There should be a bunch of coconut trees around, you would think. Like, I'm pretty sure I checked that way already before, and I couldn't find anything. So I guess I'll just go this way. There we go, got a couple here. Okay, well, water-wise, we're actually doing pretty good. Would really love to get a couple more. We should get a rain collector up if that is a thing we can craft. And coconut rain collector, yeah. But we're missing... Uh, the coconut thing on the bottom. Go to the item. Yeah, that's just a coconut and a rope. Okay, yeah, let's get a couple of those coconuts, because if we can get that going, that'd be pretty helpful. I think we probably also should be spending a bit more time building up a base. Since now, I've been kind of spending quite a bit of time just trying to get these quests done. But we're not going to be able to do the quest if I just can't survive, I suppose. Right, so it's a bit cloudy. It might actually rain soon by the sounds of it. We still don't have the rope, do we? Ooh, it's raining. That's why I wanted to get the rain collector first, but I'm just try and get some of the rope stuff right now. Yeah, you know what? Collect all of it. Can't an animal's hunting me? Yeah, I can hear him, but I don't see him. He's this way. Oh no, he's behind me. He's where is he? Where is he? I see the thing down. I just is he in the ground? Oh fuck! There's a snake. I think throwing it is just so much stronger than actually stabbing things, which. In a way, it's quite annoying. Okay, if I just kind of sneak my way up... Okay, I can see the tree again. Not the suitable tool. We need an axe. It's gonna be so late. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna injure myself. Oh, I'm actually good. I'm actually good. Right, so with any luck now, we can still create... Well, a lot of weather change to partially cloudy. I was gonna say with any luck, we can place the rain collector down before it stops, but... Guess not. Start crafting a chest let's put it right there right we need some light as well so we don't hurt ourselves there we go place it down build that up then we can create a rain collector and place that a little bit away from the trees it needs more sticks and more rope can you imagine that now okay, well, it's getting partially clouded again it seems like all the big clouds are moving away so i guess we're not gonna get any rain in our water collector here I actually didn't even see it. I was like, where did it go? Oh, we need a hammer now, too. Oh, man. A wooden hammer requires a big branch. The big branch requires a common log. And also a saw and a carpentry workbench. Man, there's actually quite a lot to this, damn. Regular workbench, carpentry workbench. Yeah, there's quite a lot to this stuff, dang. Okay, so it seems like the chest also has a weight capacity quite interestingly ah, okay so we slaughtered all the crabs on the island here and that's why they're not spawning so if we s just go a bit farther we can actually catch ourselves some new crabs and i will do that did you guys see that that crab just fell through the flipping floor so these shellfish we were also able to break open to get something inside it isn't the best food, but at least it's some food. And, like, we have the chamomile to counteract the indigestion problem anyway. So I suppose we may as well use it. Okay, now we literally slaughtered all of them on the beach. Oh, look who popped up out of the ground. It's Mr. Krabs. But I think what we'll do next time is we'll just set up quite a bit of a camp here. We still have some workbenches to get. Get this water collector up. We need another flask. And then we have basically infinite water... Because it rains rather often, I've noticed. Then the only other problem will be food, because we just hunted all the crabs here. But right, there's also fish, of course. So maybe we should look into getting a fishing rod at some point. Oh, we need to get, like, a proper location up so we don't get soaked every time. But I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, everyone.